Lord, uh-huh. glory be to God. God is so perfect. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God bless you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. Can I straighten it out? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Supernatural Inside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got my son back. <laughs> yes, Pastor Lord. Hey, John. Good to be back. I to be back. am so excited. Yes. So excited. Yeah, so am I. So we am got I. some snow. Sir, we had listen, some snow. You want to build a snowman? <laughs> we <laughs> had a good time. We really yeah. did. Y'all do that? No, we did not. Uh, we did. I we know. Were, I didn't see we're, it on Instagram. We were in shock. Uh, we were too much of in a shock. And then I said, "Bro, we didn't build a snowman." I know so, it's too late now. Next yeah. day, gone. Yes, yeah, sir. So I, I drew that snowman. You drew yeah. one. That's yeah, that's sir. what we're talking about. <laughs> That is funny. God bless you. Bless you, bless you. We're going to open up in prayer. Father, we just thank you and bless you for this day. We give you glory and honor for who you are. And we thank you, Lord God, for this time of year. Thank you for allowing us to see another year. And we give you this year already, Lord God. This is your year. You have our lives. Just do whatever you want with our lives in this year. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you and bless you and praise you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. I saw somebody with a frontal frontal lobe um, headache that God just healed, just healed. But whoever you are, watch what you say. Because you've been saying, you know, they're going to give me a headache or, or this. And you use that term and you literally get headaches. So while I was praying, the Holy Spirit was showing, and it's a lady, the Holy Spirit was showing that to me concerning you. And so God has healed you, but don't get back into that. All right. You know, I want people to know who you are, even more okay. so. Okay. Tell, 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 tell the people a little more about yourself. Yeah, well, okay. Um, I am a father of three beautiful children, and I'm only a father because I have a wonderful wife. He that findeth the wife finds a good thing. Starlet, John, uh, she, we've been married for 12 years now. Uh, you remember the beginning. Yes. <laughs> so yes. really excited about that. I love what I do as an educator. I'm a principal. I've been a principal now six and a half years, yeah. and that's exciting. I can't believe it's going by so fast. I know. But I, I, I'm a teacher at heart, so I yeah. taught for seven years before that. That's so it's right. an exciting time. I'm also assistant pastor yes. of the nationally acclaimed, world-renowned, powerful, on. the Feast of the Lord. Uh, I'm a senior pastor right here. We're really uh-huh. excited to serve there. And I'm a, a mentor. Uh, Love to serve in our community. Yes, I love to yes. make whatever wherever I am. I like yes. to serve and be a light there. So exactly. I'm very very flexible. I, I love to sing. I love to do gospel rap. Uh, yeah. So my kids yeah. have already yeah. talking about taking a board to that. And I just love helping people. I do. Right. I'm a motivational speaker yes. with Speak Life Enterprises, and yeah. I just love that. I'm a, I have a twin brother. Yeah. And a little sister that I was raised with my mother back home. Hi mom, if you're watching, Vanessa John, <laughs> Aiken County, South Carolina. Yeah, raised yeah. to a single parent mother. Mm-hmm. And my mom showed me and imparted into me the importance of seeing God as my source. Thank and so Lord. she put me in a position to go to God. She wow. did. And so since then I've been you know, following him after ever since. Wow. And uh, well, don't plan to leave. No, no, no. <laughs> I know it. I'm here and yes, loving yes, where yes. I am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Amen. Praise God. Well, I just wanted you all to hear okay. a little more wow. about Pastor Jean. Now, how did you remember it a whole lot better than okay. I do? Okay. How we met. Oh, wow. You're, yeah. How old are you now? I'm 35 years old. And so. you were 17? I was 17 when we met. Wow. All right. And then uh, when I actually started. That's like half your life. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was 18 when I said, okay, this is a gentleman that I can follow. <laughs> but God. at 17, I was. With Brian Wilson, yeah, you know Brian, of course, yep. a spiritual son of yours and yep. great brother of mine, yep. and we were just walking, talking, because we were on the concert choir together, and we were mm-hmm. on our way to concert choir, or leaving concert choir practice, right. and you were picking him up to take him home, and you per- pulled the side of the road, I was with him, and you rolled the window down and said, are you saved? <laughs> and because no one ever asked me that question before, I just gave you the answer that will probably hurt, hurt, cause you to go ahead and leave. <laughs> And that was yes. <laughs> I, and so I told you yes. And, you know, and then you looked at me and said, okay, okay, okay. You know, and see, then I knew 
Yeah. I knew of Jesus, but I didn't right. know Jesus. I didn't right. have an intimate, loving relationship with him. But I loved God. Right. I loved God, but I didn't say that. I can't say that I was sanctified. Right. You know, so I was a, I was a church goer. I was a good guy. Yeah. But uh, the difference maker was the Christ, the anointed one. Come on. And so in learning the Lord and learning Christ and learning his ways, yeah. I started realizing that because he purchased me, right. I got to give him back what he bought. So you you, be, let me just, I'm, let me just can, step can I say this? <laughs> Listen, if you go to a store and you purchase something, you expect to walk out of that store with the thing that you purchased. Come on. You don't expect to walk up with half of it. Yes. You want all of it. Well, I believe that Jesus mm. was, I was purchased by Jesus' blood. That's so right. I want to give God all of what he purchased, Ooh. not some of it. Because I don't believe he's coming back for half a church. Come on. I believe he's coming back for a whole church. Whoa. So if you are purchased mm. by Jesus, make sure he has your entire life. So I've been walking that pathway ever since. The yeah. teaching that God gives you mm. has, has been so simple, wow. easy to understand, easy to apply. Praise God. And you always point us to God. And so I've been eating that meat, eating that good word ever since. Thank and you, it has Lord. transformed my life, the life of my wife who we met during the same time yeah. in my entire family. So um, bless God for you for, God. for going after us and making me a disciple. Praise and God. now I'm doing the same thing. Amen. And that's what we're supposed to do. Disciples get disciples. That's so, right. Bless the Lord. So yeah, that's, that's my life story. Hallelujah. <laughs> my <laughs> eternal life story. <laughs> Amen. That's a blessing. Yes, Such a blessing. Yes, sir. I was just thinking about 17 years. Right. right. So that was... It was three years before that we knew each other right. before I even started the Feast of That's the Lord. That's the truth. That's the truth. Three yes, sir. years. Right, right. Yeah, you I were. didn't even think about Evangelist that. Shane Wall. That's, a, that's <laughs> Evangelist Shane Wall. Exactly. And uh, it was really good watching you operate, but also Amen. watching you serve, too. At that time, when I watched yes. you, you didn't have a pastor. Uh, you weren't a pastor, but right. you, you, were, you served your pastor. Yes. And so the way that you served in ministry was the way that I served now. Great. So I saw, right. I saw what great service and what servant leadership it looked like Praise and God. so you operated that very very well mm. um, and i would always see you witnessing the people <laughs> and just living a life that was pleasing to the king and that that Amen. mattered to you and so it was really mm. good to, it's really good to see that um wow. but yeah during that time you weren't you weren't the pastor you weren't nah, a pastor but you were still discipling men so that yeah, was really exactly. good good good, good to know yep. that is awesome <laughs> you know it is such a blessing to be able to have somebody that you can really talk to yeah. about the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I won't even say train up, but just really grow in God. Wow. Because wow. I was going, as you all were going, as God was giving me and I'm going, yeah. I'm giving it to you That's all. True. That's true. And so we just grew yeah. together. Yeah. That's true. That's and true. because of my position that God gave me, yeah. of course, I had another kind of growth I had right. to go through with. Gotcha. But growth is very important to me. Wow. It, it is. is. Yeah. And, and I want to share that with you all. Yeah. Growth is yeah. so very important to yes, me. Sir. It's important to God. And I'll prove it to you because everything God did has to grow. Wow. Wow. I don't care if it's wow. plants. I don't care if it's animals, yeah. if it's insects. Yeah. Everything God did yes, has to grow. And I, the, the Bible even talks about our yeah. faith growing. Yes, sir. Our faith growing exceedingly. exceedingly. Yes, if sir. it's not growing, it is dying. Come on, come on. If it's not growing, it's dying. I love that. Before I got here, uh, fast, I was just, just looking to the Lord for what what He want me to say if I ever had to give a word. Right. So one of the things He talked to me about was He said there are people that are watching mm -hmm. that are hungry. Mm -hmm. He said there are hungry people. Oh but he said there are, boy. But he said there are. He said there are some people that they're hungry, but their hunger level doesn't match the level of how they're being fed. So, and so when you talk about growth, you cannot grow unless you're fed properly. That's right. And so I start telling that those that are watching, there's somebody that's watching, a couple people that are watching, that your hunger level doesn't match your, your, your feeding level. And so mm. you, you're really, really hungry, you're really, really hungry, but when you go where, where you're going, you, you feel like you're not getting uh, mm. what, you, what you want compared to, yes, sir, that's exactly what it is. And so I want to encourage you to let you know that look to the Lord. The Lord will lead you and guide you to where you, from where, where you need to go yes. to be fed properly so that mm. you can grow properly. Okay, wow. We don't want your growth stunted because you are not eating properly. And so yes. that means a lot. Pastor, it's very powerful that you talk like this because mm. that is what we are in the season now. For We're here. We're in a season now where God wants his people to grow at That's the right. rate that he is destined them to grow. That's right. And not to slow the process because there are things that God wants to do for you now right. that you can only get if you're fed properly. Yes, sir. So, uh, it's so powerful you you speaking about the way right now. That wow. is remarkable. Amen. Because the, 
I never looked at it yeah. like that. Yeah. There are some people that are so hungry, yeah. but where they go to eat has them on a diet. Oh, sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> has them yes, on a sir. diet. Yes, sir. I know you're real hungry, but. Dave Sanctified Field, the Holy Spirit, he loves God in Florida. He's coming back here to uh, visit the church. And so we were talking today, and he said something. I said, I am, and God gave me something on to that. He said today, well, I'll just say the whole thing that, that the Lord gave me. Jesus was tempted of the devil with only a fraction of what Jesus already had. <laughs> How are yeah. you going to say, listen, yes, I'll give you yes. all the kingdoms right. of the world. Right. Right. He's like, oh, you're going to give me all the kingdoms of the world yeah. when my father owns every single <laughs> galaxy? <laughs> See there. <laughs> Sir. I mean, Sir. oh, do this and now do, cast yourself down. Be loyal to me. Right. Right. Really? When the God of you? Yeah. Yeah. The one who literally yeah. created yeah. you? Oh, my God. I serve? Sir. And, and then the Holy Spirit said to me. The devil has the same tactic. Right. He has not changed. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. we are tempted with is only a fraction of what we already mm -hmm. have. Oh, that's good. That's what good. we already that's have. Good. So why do I want what you have when I got all of this? Yeah. Yeah. And that's why when 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 the wow. devil tricks people to do certain things, if we only think about it, if we just only think and say, you know what? If I if I did this, I'm gonna lose all of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will lose all of that. Right. Right. Just by doing right. this. Right. What is this? This is nothing. <laughs> it's literally nothing. That's right. My peace that I have with God, if I sin, I'm gonna feel miserable. I'm gonna feel horrible. Right. This, this is nothing compared to that. That's it. That's it. All right, Marky. You 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 got your hands and everybody <laughs> else too. But well, go ahead and you can send your questions just wherever you are. If you're on Instagram, we're monitoring you. We're monitoring you also on YouTube and Facebook. David is doing an awesome, awesome job, as he always does, to make sure we get your questions. So write them down. B.I.B. asks, hey, you got to ask this one, okay? I don't know what it says. Oh, what it okay. What do you say when your coworker or boss wants to know why you're not eating lunch when you're on a fast. <laughs> oh, I've had that to happen. Oh, wow. And then, then they don't stop. Yeah. Uh, you want something? No, I'm fine. Why? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm good. I mean, why aren't you eating? Oh, yeah. yeah. Trying to fast in secret, but they right. keep asking. Right. What, what do you do? Listen, I always say this. Sometimes I'll say this. I'm, I've already eaten. Uh, I say that sometimes too, because yes. while I'm on a fast, I'm munching on, I'm that's chewing on the right. word of God. So I'm full. That's right. All right? That's so it. That's a good one too. But if you feel like that's a lie, <laughs> even though it's a not, uh, you can tell them. I, no, no, no. I'm going to tell you why it's not a lie. Yes. Because they were looking for Jesus. Right. And they said, Jesus, you haven't eaten. He said, my meat is to do, do the, the will of God. Can I get up? I can't get up. On, I, I can't walk away like I do in church and come back. I got to stay here because of the camera angle. But if I had a cameraman, <laughs> but sir, listen, that's powerful. Yes, that's sir. What the and word so says. you got to say that. You got to say that. But yeah. also be firm yeah. in this because sometimes they can keep asking over and over again I to make know. you think you have to right. um, divulge your information or yep. share your secret. Mm -hmm. Stay where you are. I'm okay. Yeah. If they don't accept that answer, you can you can almost tell them, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. I'm okay. Exactly. I am good. You your way now. I'm, I'm okay. And you can stay there. Now, here's the thing. I think what they're more concerned about is that they're uncomfortable when they give them the response. Because I don't think there's a, a problem responding. Right. Is that they have a problem uh, with the response that they get from the people when exactly. you respond to them. Yeah. That's a part of the fast. Yeah, it is. A, oh, a part of a fast that's good. is sacrificial. That's And so right. the sacrifice of a fast is that you're going to go through this uncomfortable situations. Yeah. That's a plea. That is a suffering moment. That's right. That is God being glorified. Wow. And so really, I think what you need more than anything is an understanding. That's right. The understanding that... This is a sacrifice to God. Mm -hmm. It's going to mean I'm going to be uncomfortable. Right. It's going to mean I can't be talking to everybody's face. Right. Uh, I can't right. carry a whole lot of conversations. Right. I can't right. be all on social media, texting and all that. Exactly. Because I have to sacrifice <clears throat> my fleshly pleasures or I have to sacrifice 
those pleasures that's right so that i can go grow close to the lord that's right. now you're not fasting for power but you're fasting to overcome the flesh mm. all right to let go to deny yourself and as yes. you do that your spirit is being is being made stronger that's it's strengthening right. so uh, understand that being a sacrifice yeah. stick by your answer stick by your response that's and right. listen it's not life or death they're not gonna kill you if you don't give them the answer they're looking for that's so just stand right. firm on your decision Amen. all right and again, it's a sacrifice a holy sacrifice that and is. god is honoring it too wow yes, sir. that is awesome i i, I love that I love that. And you're right. Whenever whenever your flesh is weak, your spirit is strong. Yes, sir. But let me tell you what's important as well. You have to pray. Yeah. Because if you just don't eat, right. then that's really right. not what Jesus said. Jesus said, pray and fast. Yes, sir. Fast and yeah. pray. And he didn't say if you fast. If he fast, said, yeah. when you fast. When. That's right. So we are right. expected yeah. to fast. That's good. That's okay. Good. Hallelujah. Wow. All right, Danielle H. asks, what do you do when your faith is being tested by people who say they are of God, especially when you are a vital asset to the ministry of the church? Faith is being tested. What do you do when your faith is being tested by people who say they are of God? Well, if people are people, and they may very well be of God, but you have to know people are people what do you do you still love you do exactly what jesus said still love them what do you do they just get on my nerves good love them love them then i want to know why did you let them get on your nerves yeah wow why oh that reminds me god told me something months ago that i shared with the church that people say you know you're getting on my nerves or this gets on my nerves or that gets on my nerves and the Lord told me to tell them, stop saying that. And so I'm going to share this with, with you, um, Danielle, and all of you. Don't use that terminology. Because the Father said to me, and I, I asked him, I said, have y'all ever had a pain somewhere in your body that came for a little while and then it just left? He's like, I don't know. What the world that was? The Father said unto my spirit. He said, when you say this is on my nerves, that's on my nerves, you literally open up a group of nerves <laughs> on your body. You open it up to the enemy. And it is effective, wow. but it's only temporary. So don't use that terminology okay. ever, okay. ever, ever, ever. All right? But love. That's what you do. Yeah. You love. Word of God says, life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Power. And those that love it will eat the fruit eat thereof. The fruit so thereof. whether you speak life or whether you speak death, whatever comes out of you, That's right. you're going to have to eat that. Exactly. All right? And, you, and you're going to eat the fruit thereof. And so what you say, and mm -hmm. you said this a long time ago, you said, watch what you say. That's right. Or else you will watch, we'll what, watch you what you say. You know, you, you'll live it out. So That's someone right. asked a question, too, about their husband, about fasting. If they yes. can tell their husband. Mm. Uh, or their spouse that they're fasting. Mm. Always, the Word of God talks about how it's when you're um, married that you do have to communicate to each other That's when right. you're going to fast. That's because, of course, right. when you fast, you can't be intimate with each other during right. fast as well. You have to go away for, for that moment yes. as well. Yes. And so it is it is very important. I mean, That's a really perfect question to yes. ask if I can tell my spouse if I can fast. Right. Yes, that's definitely something you, you can do. Most definitely. Yeah. Oh, yes. Because you have to literally get their permission. Yeah. That's right. The yeah. Pretty puts much. It. Yeah. Can I fast? No. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And hopefully that husband is the, is the yes, head, is, yes, yes, has yes. Christ as his head, Amen. and so he'll know he'll be spiritually led as well. And that, that's something that you all have already agreed on, because it has to be agreeable, that's uh, right. an agreeable moment for the spouse, the husband and wife as well. That's right. Great, great question. Mm -hmm. You know, the Holy Spirit just said to me, because uh, I put that this is a prophetic flow. Let me tell you, every time you obey the word of God, every time you hear this and something triggers in you, when you do it, you're going to get the results that we're talking about. That's great. Yeah. That's prophecy. It is foretelling. A lot of times people, they want prophecy to be, you're going to get a new house. You're going to get this. You're going to get that and stuff. And and some people say, oh, God bless me. I got a house. But, you know, you got to pay for it. Yeah. Or a car. Yeah. You, you, got, you got to pay for it. Wow. You know, I got a prophetic word. Well, you really could have gone. I mean, it was. Unless your your credit score was two, you know what I mean? <laughs> if that's your credit score and you get a car, yes, that is truly the blessing of yes, the Lord. <laughs> but if you got a good credit score and you just go get a car and you got payments and then two months later you're complaining of the payments, 
The blessings of the Lord make it rich, and yeah. He yeah. added oh, no good. sorrow. That's good. No sorrow mm -hmm. with it. So make sure what you get is literally of the Lord. Yeah. All right. Wow. One more question. Taylor Johnson said, Pastor Hayward told me. All right now. Okay. Who's Taylor? Oh, yeah. Hello, Taylor. Oh, you know that? Okay. Taylor, yeah, superstar. Okay. All right, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor said, Pastor Hayward told me that I was going to have my own 